Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Saturday, November 23rd, 2019, and at the moment, I am just about ready to explode. My stress levels are absolutely off the charts right now. Um, I'm just dealing with a bunch of messes at work. One of my favorite fishing reels is broken. I gotta order parts for it. I was at the repair shop with my car earlier today and uh, I walked out of there about $1,300 lighter. Hurts to kill rising. So uh, yeah, my mental well-being is really being tested at the moment. So as soon as I got back from the repair shop, I grabbed my fishing gear and I headed down here to one of my favorite local ponds to see if I couldn't de-stress for a couple hours. I really got no plan as to what I want to catch or how I want to catch it. I'm just going to throw whatever and catch whatever. Well, hopefully catch whatever. Fish on! What do we got here? It is a little largemouth. Okay, there's a start. I was just running that little floating Rapala, nice and slow. Kind of a lazy hit, but he got it. Fish number one in the books. So I don't know how well you guys can see, but there's actually a grass bed right out in front of me and that fish hit right when I was bringing it by the edge of that grass bed and when the water starts getting cold and the vegetation starts dying off fish will often seek out whatever remaining living vegetation there is and they'll stage there until that finally dies off and then they find some other structure Wow, so many birds flying around. Bunch of different kinds. I'm seeing robins, I'm seeing doves, I'm seeing cardinals. I guess these birds are getting their last feed in before the, the real cold weather sits, uh, sets in. Fortunately, it's been fairly mild so far in this late fall season, but any day we could get a, a cold snap that comes through and doesn't let up until March or even April. So yeah, got to get while the getting's good. That goes for birds and for fishermen too. Fish on! Wow, he hit it hard. That's a pickerel. Woo! It's pulling drag. I can see it in his mouth. He T-boned it. Look at him. Alright. Let's slide you up here. Damn, that's a fat pickerel. Look at him. All right, easy pal, easy. Come on, you toothy critter. All right, hooks came right out. Look at that. That's a beautiful pickerel. Look at that gut on him. What you been eating, boy? All right, let's get him back in the water. All right, there he goes. Is that a, I have him on? That was such a light hit, I thought I missed him, but he's on. It's a little guy. Oh man, would you look at this? Look at that. Look at Mr. Badass Bluegill. 
hitting this full-size Rapala. Damn, dude. Oh, fish on. Oh, wow. He's pulling hard. Wow. This looks like another pickerel. And it looks like another good one. Oh yeah, for sure. Got him hooked on the outside of the head. Whoops. Gonna have to find a way to beach this guy. I don't think he's gonna bite through my line, but you never know with these things. Okay. I'm on land, now let's get you on land. Alright, gonna slide you up. Boom. There we go. Whew, man. Another slammer pickerel. Jeez. Alright. Let's get this hook out of you. How are you even hooked here? Gonna need the pliers for you. Alright, perfect. Okay. Another big pickerel. This might even be bigger than the last one. Alright. Get you back in the water. And there she goes. All right. Chunky pickerel number two. I'm digging it. Well, most of the hits I've gotten so far today have been back in this creek channel here. So I think I am going to focus my efforts in here for the rest of the afternoon. Because this seems to be where all the action is. See that? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely staying here. This looks like another largemouth. Be a little bit bigger than that first one. All right. We're in them now, guys. I found the late fall bite. Fish on. Little large mouth. The run to the litter. So far, I mean, I can and have caught him smaller than this. I'll take him though. Today I'm not picky. A fish is a fish. Well guys, as you have seen, we have quite a nice little concentration of fish in this back channel here. So I'm going to fish through it again, only I'm going to change up my lure. I've got this paddle tail swim bait, rig Texas style and weightless, and I'm just going to toss it out, let it sink to the bottom, and I am going to just crawl it along the bottom super duper slow. It's one of my favorite things to do when the water gets cold. So I figure maybe if there were some fish that were too lethargic to hit that Rapala, they might decide to suck this in if I bring it right past their noses. Well guys, I did not get any hits on the swim bait, which was kind of surprising to me actually. That's normally a pretty good choice for cold water. So. I decided instead of slowing down, I would downsize. So I got this little bitsy minnow tied on, and I'm going to see if that will elicit more strikes than that swim bait did. Ooh, 
Oh, something bit it off. I even had a floral leader on, too. Look at that. Bit clean through it. You know what that was. Guess I gotta tie on another crankbait. I don't have another Bitsy Minnow. I'll see if I can find something similar to it. Well guys, gonna try through here one more time with the Rapala. This thing seems to be the only lure they've had any real interest in. So I'll just keep giving it to them. Maybe I can scratch out a couple more bites. Well, could not manage any more bites on the Rapala, so I think I am going to wrap it up right here. Turned out to be a pretty decent day of fishing, considering I had absolutely no plan when I showed up. Got a few bass, got a bluegill, and a couple of above average chain pickerel. In fact, those might be two of the biggest chain pickerel I've caught all year, so I'll take that any day of the week. And as far as my original goal was to de-stress, am I fully de-stressed? No. Do I feel a lot better than when I was getting bent over at the car dealership this morning? Absolutely. So from that aspect, today was a rousing success. So thank you all so much for joining me today. And I will see you on the next adventure.